Welcome back history enthusiasts. This is the Witty Historian channel where we explore captivating stories from history and folklore. In today's video, we are going to shine a light on the captivating figure of Jure Grando Alilovich, who is not only known as a villager from Istria, but also as the first real person described as a vampire in historical records. Join us as we dig deep into this mysterious tale. Before we dive into the details, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now let's get started. Jure Grando Alilovich, also known as Jure Grando, lived during the years 1579 to 1656 in the region of Istria, which is located in present-day Croatia. This enigmatic figure is believed to have been the first real person widely described as a vampire in historical records. He died in 1656 due to illness but according to legend, returned from the grave at night as a vampire, striggen, and terrorized his village until his decapitation in 1672. The legend tells that for 16 years after his death, Jura would arise from his grave by night and terrorize the village. The village priest, named Giorgio, who had buried Jura 16 years previously discovered that at night, somebody would knock on the doors around the village, and on whichever door he knocked, someone from that house would die within the next few days. Jure also appeared to his terrified widow Ivana in her bedroom, who described the corpse as looking as though he was smiling and gasping for breath, and would then sexually assault her. When Father Giorgio eventually came face to face with the vampire, he held out a cross in front of him and yelled, Behold Jesus Christ, you vampire! Stop tormenting us! In the local dialect, Jure Grando was referred to as a strigan, a word used to describe something resembling a vampire and a warlock. The legends surrounding Jure depict him as a terrifying supernatural creature that would rise from the grave and attack the living. Legends state that Jure was known for tormenting his village, causing illness and death among its inhabitants. The villagers, fearful of his actions, sought help from the church and local authorities to put an end to this reign of terror. Jura Grando's story blurs the line between vampirism and witchcraft, as he was not only perceived as a vampire, but also as a warlock. In local folklore, it was believed that individuals with supernatural powers could transform themselves into animals, such as wolves or rats, and unleash darkness upon the community. The correlation between Jura Grando's alleged abilities as a vampire and warlock reflects the anxieties and fears that existed during that period. The boundaries between the natural and supernatural realms were often blurred, leading to the creation of captivating legends, such as the one surrounding Jure. As we conclude our exploration of Jure Grando Alilovich, we can see how his story has left an indelible mark on the history and folklore of Istria, Croatia. Jure's status as the first real person described as a vampire in historical records has made him an intriguing figure for researchers, historians, and vampire enthusiasts alike. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button before leaving. Also, make sure to share your thoughts and any other interesting stories you would like us to cover in the comments section below. This is the Witty Historian. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.